Hello, welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. Uh, today we'll be working uh, on the continue working on this uh, ninja platformer game, where we will be working on the ninja attacking with the sword and also throwing the small knife out. And uh, we, if we have enough time, we'll work on the ninja gliding down as well. Um, okay, so before I begin, please like, uh, share, subscribe to our channel and uh, share our channel with your friend and tell them about our channel. That would be really great. Uh, thanks for your support. Okay, uh, all right. Let's, uh, before we uh, start the coding, let's review what we have so far. So uh, if you guys uh, miss anything, just kind of look through here and um, make sure that you didn't miss anything and you can just check your code. Okay, so uh, let's go to variable. We have uh, these variable here. Uh, we have some of the my block here, right? And these are some of the code on the ninja, okay? So we'll go on the top, start again, run control, simulated gravity. Then we have on this side, um, the start when green flag is click. Okay, so if you miss anything, uh, please uh, just kind of pause the video and add that. And on the bottom, we have the uh, jump control uh, for the ninja. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go to platform. Platform, we don't have too many code. Just uh, setting up the level. Okay, the sign, I don't think we have any code. The crate, no code yet. The water, some uh, minor code. And the hitbox, way minor code. Okay, most of the code is on the ninja. So today we'll work on the ninja uh, attacking with the sword. So how do we do that? Um, what we can do is um, similar to this ninja, right? You can um, duplicate him or you can create a new sprite, doesn't matter. Okay, so we are going to create a ninja for attacking. So how do we do that? So the best way to do is you can create a new sprite, okay? So um, we, said we cannot really copy from him um, right now because they have a lot of code, so we have to clean it up and delete the costume. So what we can do is say paint new sprite, right? And we can say upload. Uh, what we do is we go to our PNG, uh, not the tile, we have to go back to the ninja, right? Mm -hmm. This is our ninja. Okay, so we will take the attack. So we'll take the attack. So from zero to nine, just say open. So you see you have a big ninja right here, right? So we'll, for, for first costume, we'll delete it. We don't need them. I uh, will rename all this to uh, just the A. So attack zero. So A1, A0, A1, A2, A3. I mean, you can, you don't, if you don't want to change it, you can, but uh, then you have to match the name. But I just kind of use it for only one. Uh, use just a letter and a number for me. Okay, so delete that. Should be very quick. We only have nine. So I think we're almost done. And number nine, I accidentally click on the pink sprite. I'll trash this. Okay, so we have nine costume for the ninja here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're making the same size of this guy is 25. So we're we'll going to make him 25. Okay. All right. Okay, so how do we do the ninja? So to do the ninja, we have to have some of the code from the other spray as well because what happened now uh, when the ninja jumps and all we want him to follow him and this one also followed that one and uh, if he fall back down have to use the gravity so we have to take the gravity code so that's really important take this drag this kind of drop it into the ninja okay so now the ninja has the gravity code uh, what we can do is we can lay him up on the second one. Uh, you can rename him to Ninja Attack. So that's what his sword. Uh, what we can do is we don't need this to drop because um, the first ninja already has the code. So, but we want to check, make sure the the 
you know, this ninja um, uh, fall into the background, the green will stop. So we'll just check that. So we'll change this if and else. We'll change it just to if. We'll take this out. Oh, let me zoom in a little bit. And we'll take this code out here. Then we'll delete this piece and we'll connect it here, snap it back on. So we have the gravity and we have the touching green platform. Okay, same thing we had. Um, so we need the, uh, when green flag is clicked, we need to uh, have a forever loop in calling this um, this uh, custom sprite, uh, custom block so that, you know, when it's falling down with a check, if it's touching the ground, if it is, then, you know, we'll stop the fall, make sure it gets stay there. Okay, that is done out of the way. Now we will work on another green flag click here. So this time when the green flag is clicked, I'll move this over here. So this is for this code. Maybe I'll put them on top, put this a little bit lower. Okay, so this is the um, code here. So what we want to do is we want to hide this ninja. So you will not see him. Only if he attacks, then this ninja shows up. So we'll hide him. And then we'll have to have a forever loop. And what we want to do is make this ninja always follow this ninja. So that wherever he does the move, you know, we can hide him and then show him. Okay. So you have to say go to. Here, select that and say go to ninja. So this guy's going to follow him. And we also need um, point in direction. So point in direction, you see this, drag that over here, and then you have to go to sensing. And we have to pick up this block here, put it here. You have to select the back one first. So you have to select ninja first. Then here you can say direction. So it's going to point to the direction of the ninja. OK. All right, we'll put this over here. And then what we can do is we can go back to our main ninja guy. So we're going to add some code to call this other ninja here. OK, so the code we need is um, when green flag is clicked, we'll have another green flag here. Let me zoom in a little bit. OK, we are going to take a forever loop. And what we can do is uh, we're going to use some if condition check here. And we're going to use sensing. Uh, you're going to sense the key that is pressed. So let's use one, two, three. So the first one, first attack will be one, which is the uh, the, the slash with the sword. Uh, so when the player hits this, what we want to do is uh, we are going to hide this uh, main ninja guy. Then we're going to broadcast a message here so that we can send that message back to the other ninja. So say podcast message. And you can say new message. And you can say attack one. Okay, this is number one. So I'm going to show you guys what's the difference between broadcast and broadcast wait. So if you're actually doing like a regular game, most of the time you just use broadcast, right? You would not really care about broadcast wait. But if you're doing a more complex game, Broadcast boy is very important. I'll show you why it will have some problem if we're just using broadcast. But uh, what I can do is just show it right now with broadcast, and then we can go back and uh, change this to broadcast weight. So we have broadcast one. So basically, when the ninja uh, broadcast attack one, we want to show up this ninja. So let's go here. Say when I receive attack one. And we also have to check if the player is actually dying or not. So make sure he's not dying when he's doing this move. Uh, we have to get this uh, condition check, same like what we did for the other one, right? We check for dying before he can run or jump. So same thing here. So we have to check. Dying is no. Okay. And for this part, we will actually um, uh, add the code for that now. Uh, we will say show so it's not dying and pushing the attack will show and what we can do is we can use a repeat 10 time because we have actually 10 custom if you see 0 to 9 that's 10 custom right so that's why we repeat 10 time so repeat 10 time 
uh, next costume. So we only want to repeat only 10 times with the next costume and then we'll stop. Okay. And then what we can do after that, we'll, we'll hide it. And what we can do is we're going to broadcast again. Uh, we got this time we're going to say broadcast show. So this one actually doesn't matter with the broadcast. You don't have to actually have a wait. You can say broadcast show one. Okay, so this will actually tell the ninja to show himself and this is hiding himself. So after he finished do the attack move, uh, he will hide himself and he'll tell this the main ninja to show. So the main ninja here will go back to the main ninja. Here we will say show. Okay, when I receive show one. So what I want to do, I want to go to so I want to go to the ninja attack, which is the ninja that we here, right? I want to make sure this guys go back to here. And then I will show this ninja. Okay, so let's test the game out real quick. We'll save it. Why don't we give a name to the, our project uh, ninja? Okay, okay, all right. Okay, so when I start this game, uh, you can see, let me just hide some of these variables. We, we don't really need it, we got it working already. Okay, we'll just show only the level. It says level one. So uh, you can see when I hit one, you see that ninja kind of attack with the sword. So why is it going to the back? You see this is going to the back, there might be some problem, right? You see? So we want to make sure that this guy is always in the front leg, just like the ninja. Okay, we're going to go back. Let's go back here. Okay, let's drag this. Go to the front layer. Just snap it over here. Okay, now let's try it again. So let's go up here. Okay, he's still... Okay, okay. These rocks are in the front, I think. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I figure out what the problem is uh, with my ninja going kind of go to the back when it does the uh, using the slash with the sword so the problem is um, the platform here we have a go to front layer so uh, what what we want to do is after going to the front layer we're going to push him back all the way to the back since we have different sprite here uh, you know one two three four uh, five six kind of thing so you can uh, push it in the back uh, make sure that it doesn't block any of these sprites um, what we can do is first we make him to go to front layer, then we'll push him uh, layer back. Um, what I'm going to do is um, go in here, I'm going to drag this out, uh, go uh, back. I'm going to say go back 10 layer. so I'll make sure that he goes to the back, uh, even if we add other custom later on. So uh, we'll, uh, I added this block here, so that will help uh, fix the issue of the ninja. Okay, let's test it out one more time. So let's use the slash. As you can see, he kind of move. The, because of the uh, different custom, it kind of move um, a little bit down. I think um, not much I can do uh, since you know Scratch, they don't actually have those uh, collision uh, box that you could actually do only on the ninja's foot. Uh, it's a little bit hard, uh, unlike like Game Maker Studio 2 or something, you know, that you can have more control of your sprite and how that works. I think even these sprites are not really for Scratch, um, this platform. So more for like Game Maker Studio or something, you can put like, um, you know, like a collision box around different things. So anyway, we do whatever we can uh, with this. It's a, just a simple uh, platformer game we're trying to do, just showing you how you could do it. Okay. All right, so we'll go back to the ninja. Uh, also, uh, there's one bug with this game uh, we can fix. So let's say you are doing this attack, right? And you're moving at the same time. You see how the ninja falls off? So you can fix that. I mean, uh, what I did is I create a new variable uh, called action in progress. Basically, something is um, in progress, the action. And we want to make sure that the ninja doesn't do um, any of the attack move because while we're switching this, uh, it could fall him off to the to the ground. So what we can do is here, 
we'll create after we create this we'll put this in and we'll set the action to end we know no action is happening in the beginning and then in here we can set this on top here set the action to why when it's actually attacking and we have to reset it uh, also we want to change this condition here using an end join here so um, it's not dying and the action is end the action in progress is no so no action in progress then we'll, we'll try to do this and then in the code here where they change it out for the um, let's see for the jump okay we're going to change this out here instead of dying equal no we have to add an end join basically this is the end join Oops. so the, let me just kind of drag it you can see so basically you just grab one of the end from here of the operator this end and then we just kind of put this inside here and then we'll move this back in here so we'll delete this so that will fix the jump and we'll have to fix the run also so the run also have similar code here so we already did that i prepared it so okay okay now we have this in place now let's start again so uh, while we're attacking let me save it okay um let's go back over let's remove this actually i think it's going to cause some problem for us just this let's try it again so as you can see we kind of slash it doesn't kind of fall but it won't fall off now I mean, there's still a little bug with this uh, slash you see sometimes it could go under here uh, but cannot do too much with this right now uh, as long as you're not because of the loop here this custom change and if you're jumping sometime this uh, loop is not done this thing would not be able to check to make sure you stand on top of this and since our platform have multiple color this is really bad uh, for platform again uh, you you have to check color you know different color and then just uh, and the sprite is big it's not a square so it's really hard for getting all the code right uh, anyway, next time we'll make a new game uh, for platform with just a square box. I think it will work much, much better. Um, so whatever we have currently, let's just finish this. Okay, so we got the uh, ninja uh, attack uh, uh, working now, right? You can push one. So you can see it switch the uh, custom for the ninja. So only thing is if you are doing attack up in the air, it, it, it would have some problem like this and the hitbox is also um, not a problem that kind of push him away so i mean i mean if you want you can just take this hitbox off but i think that will you know because that will make him go in as long as you're jumping and uh, if you're not hitting the the attack button while you're like near the ground then you're fine um like if you're up here like that is fine but if you're like near the ground and then you're trying to hit it then it kind of get into the hitbox and the hitbox kind of push him away not really we can do anything because you have too many custom change maybe you can delete some of the custom it might help you know with the code so that it doesn't have too many custom to loop through uh, anyway um, this um, we do have a little problem but uh, anyway so we got this attack working so um, what we're going to do next is doing the knife uh, you can throw the knife out Okay, so we'll stop here and then we'll create another video for the knife so that, you know, if you want to see the knife, you don't have to see the raw, the attack one. Okay, alright, we'll stop here. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.